just had a burrito and that the, the flour tortilla is kind of expanding in my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's kind of painful. It's just it was. It's only that big, but it's like expanding the tortilla part. That it took my belly and get it out of the way, so I look skinnier on the air. I don't want to look like a big fat pig <laughs> like Lulu. <Lulu-Lulu. laughs> she is fat. Who's a? How long have you been rolling? You just cut out all that hard about the stomach. Okay, here we go. What about Lulu being real fat? We'll cut that part out. We'll cut out all of this part and just start the show at the beginning. Right now? Yeah, okay. Now? Fishmasters episode in three, two, one. Ha! Hi, everybody. This is going to be the best Fishmasters episode ever. Uh, we're going to have like Oh yeah, our, our agent, we got a letter from our agent dated a, about a year back, we haven't seen him in a while, and he gave us some tips on how, how to make this the best Fishmaster season ever. This is gonna be the, the best Fishmaster show of them all, the best season ever with sky high ratings. It's gonna be great. He said our, our ratings are up this season. Or they're not up, but they're like holding steady. The ratings are steady, the same ratings we had last season it's like well there aren't any ratings it's like no ratings but we're not in the negative at all we're holding steady with no ratings and we're only well we're in the negative in a few markets but only a few so we're like even right on course great show good ratings the show start yet and he's yeah now we're going and he's like gave us all these instructions like how to make the show even better like he said oh he said quit doing the uh the thumbs up oh no, he said to quit doing it. It's kind of a hard habit to break, though. He said it was a, uh, he called it a small television marketing ploy that small market cheesy stations would use to show, like, happiness or satisfaction with the product. Like, that's a good product at the, like, at the end of a commercial or something, or just a cheesy show, might throughout. We anyway, do it all the time! I, anyway, he said not to do this, so I won't now. I quit. No more of that. Say goodbye to the thumbs up parts of the show. Don't be expecting that anymore. Help! Anyway, he also said we're not reaching our demographics. And then demographics, he, he said we're not reaching any demographics at all. In other words, nobody's watching the show at all. And the people that do watch the show are ashamed and embarrassed and won't admit to it. So, according to the records, nobody watches this show. I'm still doing it, look. Oh. So it's like, we're doing this for nobody. And if you're watching, why don't you admit it? Why do you have to feel ashamed and guilty? Anyway, this is going to be the best show ever because we're going to try to appeal to every demographic. So stay tuned and watch the whole show because we're going to appeal to everybody. We're going to have a teen segment. We're going to have a kid segment. We're going to have an old lady segment. We're going to have a, a smart viewer. A lot of times they say the smart viewers change the channel when we come on. But we're going to have a segment especially for you. And we're going to have uh, all kinds of, of segments geared especially towards specific demographics, like women 18 to 49. They'll have their own special segment of the show, so that way everybody will watch. So right now you should get on the phone and call your friends, because there will be a segment for them, because we're covering everything. This section of the show is for the women 18 to 49, so if you're a woman, get up close to the TV screen, baby. Come here often, honey. You're different than other girls. You're different than them. I can, other ones. I can relate to you, and I understand what you're going through. And you're beautiful and sexy. Sexy! And uh, you're the only one that I desire because you're so hot. And I've been in love with you always, even before I met you. I've seen you in my dreams. I feel like maybe we are soulmates from 
um, other lifetimes we were together and we'll be together forever even in death. I'd like you to have my baby and also to be buried beside, beside me when we die and I can't live without you either. Plus, we got lots of housework to do. You're sexy. And, uh, um, come, do you come here often? Um, what's a nice girl like you doing watching a show like this? Would you buy me a drink? And you don't look a day over 18. I can't believe you could be in the 18 to 49 demographic. Are you a model or something? You sure look like you could be a model. How about you make yourself more comfortable? You ain't fat or nothing. It looks like you had a tummy tuck even. You're so skinny. I can see love in your eyes. You're probably misunderstood. I understand you completely and understand your pain and suffering and it must be so hard to give birth. And I bet that stings. You're everything I've dreamed of. I'd die for you. Um, you're uh, everything to me. You're my everything, always and forever. Always and forever. You're my one true love. Finally, I found you after all this time. Finally found my true love. I was afraid I was gonna go through life without ever finding you, but now I have, and I'm so glad we found each other. We're glad about it, huh? We ain't kidding either. Christmas.